Next up, it's time to expand what we're searching for here and continue to get organized along the way. So I saw something that sparked an interesting thought, and that was in telehealth. And so I went ahead into connecting through PubMed again and searched for citations related to telemedicine, telehealth, and hypertension, and was able to pull in a whole bunch more. So that tells me there's some distance work going on with patients. That might be interesting. And then also motivational interviewing is a pretty common health coaching technique that might not be identified specifically as health coaching. So I searched for citations specific to motivational interviewing and hypertension. And then I took this group of citations and I copied them also into my health coaching group. So now I have 1,200 citations in my library with not a lot of effort that has gone into this so far. And I start to have some subgroups here that are showing me where I might end up going in framing my research question. So our, one of our next tasks is to find citations that look interesting and find PDFs, full text, uh, URLs for those site references. And one way to just start out your research is to look for uh, specifically for overviews and reviews. And so find that out of your library and search for those first. And that will help you get some background context. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that through the campus library. So I'm going to flip over here to the George Smith Library of Health Sciences. And on the home page here are some quick links where I would like to go because it's very user friendly what I'm for what I'm going to do is I want to get into the EBSCO host platform. That's a platform that houses multiple databases. So I know that CINAHL runs off this platform. So I will click on that and connect and net ID and password required and I think I'm going to get a little error message here. Nope, I'm good. So here I am searching CINAHL with full text. I can choose additional databases here. So I can search multiple databases at the same time. I've got a couple favorites. Academic Search Premier is one of my wild cards. Um, I can also search Medline. I can search um, History of Science and Medicine could be interesting, but I think we'll skip that. But depending on your research question, you might want to um, add in um, Nursing and Allied Health Collection. Um, if you're looking at something that's related to, uh, let's say, the health of prisoners, criminal justice abstracts. So this is a way to, to create a big wide net. And um, when you get to actually doing your systematic search for the articles that meet your criteria, you will need to, at that point, log exactly where you're searching and how you're searching. For now, I think I'll just stick with all of these and we'll see what happens. So I'll click on OK. And you'll see that there are some search options here on the screen. And if we scroll down, there are different search limits for the different databases. So you can select for CINAHL, you can select limiting to English language. Uh, you can scroll down and look at geographic subset for your articles. So for some of your research questions, eventually that will be important. I don't really want to worry about that right now. But definitely English language, um, not necessarily limiting to only PDF full text. We can set that limit a little bit later. So another English language, and I think that should be good for what we're looking for. So what I want to start with is I want to start with some background information. So I'm going to put in hypertension and select a field optional over here. I am going to select in abstract. And I'll select the word uh, coach in her coaching in the abstract as well. And let's just see where this takes us. hundred and seven um, references. So this is actually not a bad, bad place to start. We've limited ourselves to English language. The next limit that we can put on this is we can put limit to full text available. So once we come to full text, we've got 44. This will be nice and easy to scroll through. And so my first reference that shows up here is a protocol for a project. So that means the project has not been done yet. I'm going to skip that. There might be some interesting references in their introduction, but I'm going to skip that for now. 
Health promotion in Fiji. Is it feasible in the emergency department? I'd like to go to Fiji, but I'm going to skip that for now as well. Workflow standardization of a novel team care model to improve chronic care. Well, this doesn't say specific health coaching. It's got a lot of information about blood pressure. And it's a study that's not necessarily going to meet my inclusion criteria. So I think I'm going to pass on that one. Here we go. What happens after health coaching? So this is a follow-up of a randomized control trial. This could be interesting. So I will click on the title, and this is going to take me to its little home page here. And there's a PDF here that I can download. So I can, I think, right-click on that and save as. And it's giving me a Chrome document, so I'm going to X out of that. I think I have to double-click it and save it. So that's where I get the article. There we go. All right, so that also works differently for different browsers. So we'll take a moment here, and we will save this locally to the computer and then get back to exporting the citation. Now I've saved a copy of the PDF locally on my computer. The next thing I want to do is I want to get this citation into EndNote so that I don't have to retype it. No reason to retype it if I can export the citation. So I'll come over here to the right hand side of my screen and I am going to right click on export. Here we go. I think I had to regularly click on export there. And now I have saved citations into a file formatted for. So the default is a direct export to RefWorks. You can export to EndNote Web. I want to export this locally. So I'm going to select the first option, direct export, export in RIS format, whatever that stands to. But, but, but that gives me um, my citation in EndNote. And so I'm going to click Save. And this will show up at the bottom of my screen. So what I can do next is I can double click on the delivery RIS here on my screen and this will open my reference, update my terms, and pop it in as an imported reference. So here it is, it landed in my library. If I double click on the page, it takes me to the full reference with all the information beautifully, don't have to type anything else. Here I can collect, uh, click on attach PDF, so I'm going to attach something. Since I downloaded the article locally, I can find it here on my computer right quick. And if I can find it on my computer, there we go. I got to look at my research articles and find it in health coaching. And I remembered that the author's name was Sharma. So health coaching, scroll down to the bottom. Sharma RCT follow-up. Open that. I've got it attached. So a beautiful citation. I am going to close out of here. And you want to save the changes? Yes. So now that's actually a nice feature. It didn't used to ask you. It used to just disappear. To me. So next what I want to do is I, this is health coaching, and uh, it fits in probably a couple of different categories, but I want to right-click and I want to copy the reference, make sure the reference, I should say, is copied to my library, and it looks like it's there. So I'm going to put it in the health coaching group, add it there, and then click under all references just to make sure it shows up. And it does. So that's an easy way to import the reference into your library so you don't have to retype anything.